What's going on guys? Shane here. Today we got a five round heavy bag workout for you that'll burn at least 500 calories and get you in killer shape. So what you're going to need for this workout is a pair of hand wraps, ideally 180 inches long, a pair of bag gloves, anywhere from 12 to 16 ounces, and a watch or a clock. Okay, before we get started, let's make sure you're warmed up with some dynamic stretches like arm circles, bear hugs, some walking lunges, squats, or side lunges. Just sort of start to get warm, warm your muscles up, and get ready for the intense workout ahead. All right, guys, let's get it started. Round one, I want you to work your straight punches and your front push kick. Make sure you're snapping those punches and the crosses. Work high and low to the head and to the body. Make up your own combos. Make sure you're stinging that bag, guys. Good, I want you to go for three minutes for round one. Give yourself a one minute rest in between before we go into round two. Grab water if you need it. Round two, we're adding on the hooks and the roundhouse kick. I want you to try to end every combination with a round kick or a front push kick. Again, go to the head and to the body. Make sure you're dropping your levels when you work the body. Never punch down and expose your face. Instead, you wanna sit down and then throw the punch straight. Throw those hooks to the body, jabs, cross, hook to the head, high and low. Try to end with a round kick, whether it's to the legs, to the body, or to the head. Again, for three minutes. Then we're gonna have a one minute rest. Grab water if you need it. Round three, this time on when you add uppercuts and knees. I like to uppercut to the body because it keeps my wrist straight. I don't like uppercutting to the head on a straight heavy bag because it puts my wrist at a weird angle. So you have your jabs, your crosses, hooks to the head and to the body. We also have straight knees, clinch knees, round kicks, and front push kicks. Everything in your striking arsenal. Again, we're going for three minutes with a one minute rest in between. Grab water if you need it because the next two rounds are sprint rounds. They're gonna be tough. Okay, now we have 30, 30, 30 drills. For the first 30 seconds, what I want you guys to do is just punching, working at a moderate pace, working all the punches you've done thus far. Jabs, crosses, hooks to the head, to the body, working some uppercuts, okay? You're gonna go at a moderate pace for 30 seconds, working technique, making sure your hands are up high and you're retracting your punches as quickly as you threw them. After 30 seconds of technique, we're gonna work on speed. I want you to punch as if you're on an elliptical as fast as you can. Make sure you're breathing. Hike those knees up as you're doing it. So I want you to run and punch at the same time. Again, go for speed. We wanna punch fast here. After 30 seconds of speed, we're gonna go for the knockout punch and increase our power. I want you guys to really twist your hips and rip into that bag with your hooks, your uppercuts, your crosses, and power jabs. Again, knock them out. After that, you wanna give yourself a 15 second break. It's gonna fly by, and then we're gonna go right back into it with another 30, 30, 30. After that round, you got one minute rest, grab water, I know you need it. We're going into the fifth and final round. It's another sprint drill, another 30, 30, 30. Okay, for the first 30 seconds of the fifth round, again, we're gonna work technique, but I want you to not only work your punches, but also add in kicks and knees. Work your technique, making sure everything is flawless and sound. After 30 seconds of technique, we're going into clinch knees. Clinch up with the bag with your forearms and make sure you push and pull the bag. You control it. Make distance by pushing and then pull the bag into your knee. Go sequential, left, right, left, right, skipping into knee after knee. After 30 seconds of knees, we're going into left, right kicks. Make sure you control the bag. Again, find your balance, find your rhythm, left kick, right kick. After that, give yourself a 15 second rest because we're going back into it one last time. Again, work your technique after those 15 seconds. Make sure you're breathing, controlling your breathing, working your technique. Then, after those 30 seconds, you're going back into the clinch knees, ripping your knees into the bag, push and pulling, controlling that bag. Finally, we're going into the round kicks, left, right, sequential, one after the other. It's the last round, guys. Make sure you empty out that tank and go hard. Good, guys, so just to recap on what it is. The first round, I want you to go straight punches, jabs and crosses to the head and to the body, and also throwing front push kicks. The second round, we're adding on the hook and the round kicks. So now you've got jab, cross, hook, round kicks, and front push kicks. The third round, you're adding on the knees and the uppercut. So you have jab, cross, hook, uppercut, round kick, front push kick, and the straight knee or clinch knee. The fourth round is all punches, sprints. Well, at first we're working technique with your own combos, and then we're going for speed on the elliptical. Finally, go for that knockout punch, twisting your hips, finding your power. The fifth and final round, going at a moderate pace with your punches, but make sure you're adding in the kicks 
After 30 seconds of that, we're gonna clinch up and go for straight knees. Finally, we're gonna end with left, right kick, round kicks, sequential, one after the other. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click subscribe and click the link below to get the advanced fight tips. Make sure you get them before your opponent does. Until next time, guys, I'm Shane, fight tips.